All right, welcome. It's 17th October. So let's relax. <laughs> I'm Aradhna Tiwari, an actual facilitator, of course, the founder of Be the Change and and much more. I think I'm an infinite being who's here just for, with another infinite beings with my space. So thank you for joining. Thank you for the space that you be. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So, and my darling Shivangi is here and I'm sure my rest of the team joining in. So thank you, Shivangi, for being here, for creating all this. And yes, we are talking about, so relax. What does relaxation actually mean in your world, guys? Would like to hear first that. And then I will give do my bug bug chak chak. <laughs> what is relaxation for you? Ibital, do you want to start? What is relaxation for you? It's when my body is so comfortable mm -hmm. and I'm having a, like it, a, like a beautiful sensation, like a feather on my body. Yeah. Um, but I I do get that when I run my bars. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I'm not relaxing. <laughs> and how have... when you're in the nature? Oh, my God. You can't imagine. I'm okay. sorry. I love the nature. The sensation of nature is awesome for me. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. wow. So that was big. Like, when she just said that, you know, the nature is, like, so big. Why? Because how do you merge into when you go into the nature? Because nature is not judging you back. It's embracing you as who you be with everything how you be. That is when we feel so relaxed in nature, so comfortable in our skin, so comfortable with our bodies. It's just, and that time, I don't think anybody of us even gets a judgment about it. And sitting alone in that area, being there and being in nature with plants and trees, it's just fun. Because that time we don't even think, oh, I'm fat or I'm ugly or I'm this and that. It only comes when we have people around us. So can we acknowledge that, that that is the element of nature that we are. So that is how we feel that relaxation. But yet when we come here together, when we are among people, why it's not that people are bad. Everybody has that merging capacity of that relaxation. But we humans have been given mind. <laughs> so mind is our directory and the, it's, it's a memory chip which keeps filling in so much of energy into it. You know, and I was reading um, even Jyoti's and Jyoti. I was reading Jyoti's um, um, post the other day about how, you know, she feels comfortable in certain ways and but how the world perceives it. And we want to be known by the world. We want to be seen by the world and how we should be seen by the world. And sometimes we get into our wrongness because we don't know what that means, what that true relaxation means. But if you acknowledge that we are just being that space and we are just actually receiving the signals and our body is merging into every single thing around us. And if we do not pay and become so stringent with it and we do not start judging it, what is can we but we think the what, what starts making it change is like oh I have to hold it oh I have to change it oh I have to do this in this person's world or my world and most of the things match our vibration the circumstances we have grown in the parents that we have grown or the places that we have grown we brought it together and whenever our body finds that same signal it kind of pulls it but we love it. We are so greedy and selfish. We want to make everything mine. This is mine. Good things, mine. When we say it's mine, we want to be like, you know, little humiliation should be there, humiliated, being on the ground. Oh, it's mine. You know, the more. But the, when the pain is, of course, it's mine. My pain, my problem. <laughs> like how much we scream, right? Can you see the love for the pain and the agony that we have? So what is the universe gifting us more of it? Right? That is what everybody is screaming out loud. So the noises are becoming louder every day. On the contrary, you go in the nature. Nature is like, this morning, our play of Be the Change was like, you know, show me the miracle and stuff. And I'm like, I was walking and I'm looking at them. You know, okay, plants, can you just show me my miracle today? And I got a, such a weirdo, stupid answer. Hey, hey, hey. You know, you're asking, and they're like smiling. 
bullshit. Is that a question to be asked? Here we are. And I said, sorry. <laughs> and they just showed me. We don't ask anybody to show our miracle and magic. We are. We are shining. Why are you asking it? It just felt so like on my other side. So, oh, thank you. I didn't know. I had forgotten. They haven't. We have. Because we're so busy with the mind. And somebody asked me today that should I, how to shut my mind? How do I, you know, what is about shutting the mind? I'm saying, let's not shut the mind. Let's be an allowance of the mind. But it's so beautiful when you are watching kids playing around. They're just playing. But you don't go and start playing. But the moment you start going and playing with them, you've forgotten that you were watching them. And this happens with the mind. We sit there, okay, I'll watch it. When you're watching it, no harm is going on. Nothing is going. But now when you started playing it, you're also going to hit the ball as strongly and it might hurt other kids because they're you know, smaller in the stature or their physical capacities are not as amazing as yours at times. So, and that goes with everybody. I think that goes even with the any enlightened being probably because the only th change is that the capacity to recognize is way far quicker. So like how Abhital says that, you know, I am relaxed at times. That feels me relaxing, very calm and quiet. But yet then I go into all this. Okay. What if your mind wants to go around? Let it go. It's a naughty kid. What can, what is your mind actually, because mind has no point of view. It's also willing to receive from all those energies. But we have said no to the negative energy, negative in a sense, which feels heavy for us. But what if we don't have to be okay? I'm not going to choose you. But if you're here, you want to gift me something, I'm happy to, to receive the gift. I've always been naughty. I said, okay, if you want to gift me, you gift me something. But I don't want you in my house. Simple. Are you willing to receive? Or are you making it a bad money, wrong money, wrong gift, bad people? So that is where the fight of the relaxation we quit and we're trying to do relaxation rather than being relaxation. So I, I okay, I just started. See how I, I speak so much, right? It was said and I started. And Nishita was like, how people keep talking all the time. I said, yeah, people make me talk. But yeah, what, I mean, I would really like to take you to this one exercise today of how one can relax themselves and see when if you can be that energy now in this very moment, you can be this energy at every given point of time. And what gift you have. And, you know, I love that write-up of yours, Jyoti, what you wrote. And maybe, you know, you have a very different way of experiencing your peace and your relaxation. So today, Anita, she was there in her car and she's like, every time you give this play of relaxation, that day I'm traveling. Whenever the magic and miracle, I said, what if your relaxation looks like traveling. So what definition of relaxation have you bought from others that you're making as yours? So for me. Yeah, go ahead. So for me, initially, I thought relaxation is about doing nothing or just being in bed. And then later when I kept asking this question, it was even doing 100 things at one time or being very, very busy or doing 5,000 things at one time. Yeah. So it's like, what does it mean for you? Yeah. And people make you wrong for not doing anything or for doing too much. Yeah, and meditation does what's fun for me. put that music and just be like this. So, <laughs> what difference are you that you're not acknowledging? Jyoti, were you saying something? Were you mumbling? To, achai, you know, okay. Awesome. No, I was doing. Go ahead. As Nishita said, it was so true. Actually, when you do too much, then also people figure out, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally. So what have you defined in this very 10 seconds? Just be present with yourself. What does word relax means to you? And just see the response of your body when you're repeating this word relax. Ankita says your voice, relax. Just shut your eyes and listen to it. Relax. Relax. Relax, doing nothing. Can you allow yourself, Agni, to do nothing for a minute right now? Just allow. What is that you're not willing to let your desires be fulfilled? 
how calming was it? How difficult is it for anybody to relax here right now? Anybody? Ebital, hey, go ahead. Yes, um, when you said relaxed, doing nothing, everything jumped on, on me. Like, sure, like, whoa, doing nothing. It's like judgment, it's not mine. Mm -hmm. That you are just doing nothing, that you are nothing. Yeah. So it's like, you know, when you're sitting in a silence, you go to a silence retreat or you go on a hill and you're just sitting by and then you hear weird music, somebody putting too much of a loud music. And then you look at them, why are you like playing in the silence? But that's fun for them. So you, your body sat down and body's like, oh, I've got time with her. Tuck, 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 tuck. All the information started flowing. And what if you just observed it? So right now, again, go into that state. And in your world, to receive judgment is wrong. To judging somebody is wrong. What if it's not wrong? What if that is your relaxation, to judge everybody and have the gossip? And no wonder I was asking for the gossip <laughs> from you today. <laughs> how, much, how much fun, joy do you feel and relaxed do you feel when you're gossiping? And judging, oh, this person this way, this person that way, me that way. What if that is actually relaxation to you? you what know if that shutting the eyes? You hit a nerve for me that I don't allow myself to, to do or speak wrong things about people. Uh -huh. About what uh, the way I was raised. And... Uh, when someone do that for me, it's like, uh, I don't receive the judgment. Yes. Yeah. No wonder they jumped on you. What you resist persists. Could you give yourself today permission? Just allow yourself for now to, until tomorrow. Just one day, give yourself that permission to judge, to say bad things to everybody. What if you can actually write down in a book? What if you can audio record that? Just for fun. Yes, I will do that. What if you can energetically go into everybody's head, you want to really scream, abuse them, go abuse them. And it's wow, a do that. <laughs> can you? Yeah, I'm not allowing myself to do harm for anyone. Yeah, and the moment, and you'll be, you will be amazed with that. The moment you give that permission, your mind won't have anything to say. It's funny. It only has something to say until you're stopping it. MCBC and whatnot. Exactly, Ankita. <laughs> so right now, see, the moment you're saying your body is relaxing. Yes. We have made something wrong in our bodies. We have made something wrong about the information our bodies are speaking, the way we are functioning. What today in this very moment in this call today you give yourself permission to be anything and everything the worst thing ever possible that you think can yes i made abuse wrong and i'm fighting it and you know I, I asked this question you know, with the we were in the certified practitioner course of uh, adila um, for the body whispering this year and i asked her this question i says you know what it's so funny that i don't get the meaning of what abuse and trauma means I said, people talk about abuse all the time. People talk about trauma all the time. What is abuse? What is trauma? And people tell, come and tell me that you probably are going through a lot of abuse or trauma. And I'm like, really? Is that called a trauma? She said, and she laughed. She said, you don't have to buy it, right? I said, yeah. I said, but still, I would like, what, what does it mean? Anything. And she very beautifully, so beautifully, clearly put it. She's like, you know, Aradna, what if anything that disempowers you is actually the trauma? And when you allow, when you, uh, when you purposely knowing it, that you're doing it to yourself, that's abuse. So how much are you abusing yourself? And then you're saying, I'm not allowing the abuse. Yes. But you're resisting, you're persisting. Yes, uh, I have so much resistance in this area. That is pure abuse. So how, how are you not being abusive? You are you're abusive to your own self. Yes, the one I'm abusing is myself. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can abuse us, right? If we don't allow them, they can't abuse us, yes? Yes. So anything wherever you have made that promises with yourself, 
or disempowering. That is what we need to renounce. That is what we need to go. But we have to allow ourselves everything. If we do not allow people who take our garbage away to take away and we make them wrong, who will do that job? Is that not required? Is that required? It's the biggest work, I guess. Not everybody can do it. Yeah, I'm excluding the bad things from my world. That not to do it. Yeah. I didn't realize that before. Yeah. Also, I have I know that I have a killing energy and I use it. But when you said about abuse, about the gossip, about I'm not allowing myself to be that. What if I'm an allowance? to be that. I don't have to choose it. I just have to be in alarm. Wow. Exactly. And the moment you're saying your body is, I can just see it opening up. Yes, it's opening from my back, from my spine. Oh, I, I sense it on my back. Right? So. It doesn't get any better. What else is possible? That's a magic. That's relaxation. Now, is this sitting like this relaxation or was this relaxation moment? So everywhere, all of us here have not allowed us to be present with ourselves, our beings, our body, the way I want. Could you like to today change it for yourselves? And just yes. relax into it. So now, truth, I'll just say, let's do this exercise again for two seconds. Sure. If you can, if you're driving, please don't shut your eyes, definitely. But if you can just shut your eyes and be present with your body, then when I say the word relax, just, just see how it goes and just observe your bodies. Relax. Relax more. And relax. And smile to yourself today. Just smile to yourself. While relaxing, take a deep breath. Now, while relax, breathing out, relax more. And now everything fall apart. Just relax. Now, what was it for everybody? Anybody who didn't have it? It just took those still seconds to relax. Can you see we don't even have these two seconds for us? Lots of space, yes. These two seconds. And everything starts flowing magically in our worlds. Relax more, guys. I know the anxiety going up. I know there's a weirdness popping up right now. All the pop, everything will pop up right now when you're totally relaxed. But only if you'll breathe, only if you'll smile, everything will shift. Biggest mountains would move. You know, I I've been. I have chosen enough to kind of come and talk to you guys enough about I've been through it. So nobody tells me ever that you haven't been through it. I've been through everything, right? And I don't choose to go anymore on that, on that area. But yeah, there is no moment as long as you're alive. Even tomorrow you're in a bed. Tomorrow you're not. You have created nuisance for your bodies. You can actually smile to it. You can take a deep breath and you can just relax. And keep relaxing. Remind yourself, this shall do pass. This shall do pass. And everything is working. The being is in the process. Everything is in process. Everything is coming. Everything is my way. Any questions coming up? And on that, and this is like two seconds. I'm, and as I told you morning also, I was creating this. I created this, of course, for you to invite you and touch your walls to show what a relaxation can be. It doesn't have to be a form structure. It doesn't have to be lectures. It doesn't have to be a format, format of any class. So no form, no structure, out of control, being in nature, being with animals, 
just be by yourself in that pure silence of without media is my invitation for this retreat, which we are doing on, in December, 1st to 4th December, and it's called Let's Relax. <laughs> and you know, when we were in one ghat and we had this whole thing, okay, we have this form, we have to, we'll do, be doing this and me and Shivangi, they're like sitting and we're laughing. No form structure of this retreat, guys. We will flow. And we was next to the river and we was like, we will flow. So if that invites you, if your bodies and don't go to your mind, don't pressure your mind if you don't have money. If you think money, don't bring money here. Okay, ask your bodies. And trust your bodies. If your bodies are ready, they will create it. They will take you. It's just a choice you have to make. Rest all is trust is showing up yes pulling from everywhere yes go Ankita go ahead and then I'll take Ibita so uh, ma'am this is just a sharing before this call I had a lot of headache and I asked what is this it was an intensity the minute you start saying relax and I, I hear your voice it just melted and it just went away so thank you so much I think my body is used to your My, voice. <laughs> I've become the lorry for you. So what if that voice turns to you, Ankita's voice for herself? I'll be more grateful. Is now the time and space. And oh, I, as I always say, I really love you. And thank you so much for all your interesting points. Thank you. <laughs> Whenever I tell Ankita to do something for herself, then it becomes an interesting point for definitely. <laughs> yeah, Vital, go ahead. Yes, uh, I'm really grateful. I'm starting uh, to relax in my body in some areas. I didn't, I was struggling to relax with it. So I'm so grateful. The Thank question, no. Thank you. Uh, the question that came to me um, during the process, um, that the energy that came to me that I am responsible about solving the problems of the world. <laughs> I do. I totally am with you. I'm not saying no. And can it be okay still? What is the gift in it? Too? What is if it's that? Not, a what if it's a gift until now? And now, now if it's not working, okay, just relax. I want to quit that job. <laughs> okay. So can you ask that job to contribute to if another job and ask your body to find a contributive and more nurturing job? And until now, maybe your body required that nurturance from that job. So you can't dis not acknowledge that, you know, job, which has been providing you, nurturing you, making you money, everything for you. You just can't get up and get lost. It's like, all right, I'm maybe now. And, you know, this is what I was talking that I was talking to my son the other day. I would like to make some, to move forward. You don't have to find faults in other people. So you, to move forward, you don't have to find a reason to say this job is a problem. Job was never a problem. Job is a job. Another person would come and do it. But it's that you are, you are not resonating at that vibration anymore. And you can say, hey, thank you. You served me until now. Would you now please contribute for me to put, get another job? Yes, I would love to. Why do we have to make something wrong to invite another energy in our lives? Everything wrong, right? All energies contributed us to be here today. Are used to make things right and wrong uh, because of religion, the way we were raised. Something yeah. is and something is forbidden. Yeah. So it's a we are. Uh, it's like the autopilot that we are coming off from it. Yeah. How, and, but you, but could you please acknowledge that you are here today, Ibital? You have been there every day. You've been, been making those choices because your being knows there is a different possibility. But what inspiration and what radiance can you be where you are today? Be the glowing bulb there. <laughs> I love that question. Yes, yeah. what's inspiration can I be? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what invitation are you already being that you're not acknowledging? Yeah, what would it take to acknowledge it? So to acknowledge just my acknowledge. I will just say acknowledge. Even if it feels fake, acknowledge, fake it till you make it. 
I am, I am doing it. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm making a change. Yes, I am. That's what we do in the morning, right? I'm magic. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I am a blessing. Yes. So one day you finally will trust you're a blessing because you are a kid. Oh, what else is possible? Awesome. Yes. Can you talk more about, it's like the thing that looping in, in my mind is mm -hmm. when Dane always says, your mind is a dangerous thing, waste it. And there's questions about the mind. And I realize like sometimes and I am so much in my head that uh, I'm not allowing myself to be. So yeah. But the, thing with you, the, the beauty is that, Abital, that you already watched it. You already saw I'm in my head. You still did not stop it. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're playing hide and seek. You caught them, but you're like, I'm not caught. So acknowledgement does that. Okay, I'm in my mind. Can I allow myself to be in the mind? Okay, I'm in, oh, I'm watching the mind. That's what I just said, that if kids are playing and you're standing there and you're like just watching the game and you know if somebody requires I can be there but if you go and get involved into it then you remember oh okay I don't have to play I come out keep doing keep playing allow yourself it's not a it's dangerous as long as you using it against you but when you start using it for your advantage it's like people can move mountains with their mind mind is a very powerful in instrument that you can use it to your advantage Show me, ma show me mine. How can I move this mountain? <laughs> you know, I I don't know if that's an Indian movie. Um, uh, who recently Shivangi? What was that movie? Um, um Alia Bhatt's. Uh, Brahmastra. No, the way she was across. Yeah. Gangubai. Ah, uh, Gangubai. Uh, there's an Indian movie which I was watching, and I, for me, to every movie also now it's like you know, the, and I'm like, wow, the person who writes the story is also amazing. And in that, they showed that when she was young, she wanted to be a film star. She wanted to be known in the world. And she wanted to be really famous. Universe is okay, we'll do it. And then she goes out with the lover, uh, says there, the lover sheets him, sells him to a brothel, and she becomes a prostitute. And where then she's like, you know, she acknowledges that this was my choice that I made it to run from my home. So there is no going back, even if it tried once, the family didn't want to accept her. So she stayed there, but she started making a difference and she became one of the biggest, and this is a real story in life in India. She became a big, uh, she became, I think, uh, MLA, uh, the, some government employee, and she won the elections and stuff. And she actually met Nehruji, our prime minister at that point of time. And she made a difference in the society and her big boards and, you know, billboards were there about her. And I'm like, we'll see how things never show up, what you're asking. And after looking at that movie, I was like, I don't want to ask anything. I'm very happy. I do not want to ask anything. I'm happy. I'm happy to receive what has been gifted to me. Everything is, I'm an allowance of everything. Okay, great. So, Please write the name of the movie. So I, I would like to watch it. Well, Shivangi, can you put it on the thing? Yeah. And I didn't want to watch it because there was so much of a crime. And I was like, oh, why am I even watching this movie? I said, relax, watch, relax, watch. There is something in it. And then I'm like, wow. And since then, I was like, okay, I surrender. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. I'm very happy. You do not know what you're asking will show up how. Nothing in your life is not showing because you. I wanted to understand everybody's world. And I've gone through so many routes. And this evening, I was sitting with myself. I said, enough, yeah. Okay, yeah. I surrender. I'm happy with whatever you're gifting me. So what else is possible? So how, how relaxed are you guys right now? <laughs> anybody who's not relaxed, anybody who I can contribute to is not relaxing. <laughs> Can't relax. Have to, you know, another very funny thing. Other day, my uh, one of the doctors was visiting my in-laws and he was not, she was not well. And the doctor asked me, he said, can you just give her a sleeping pill to her? I said, okay. I said, how many pills? Like two, I think he said. I said, okay. And I called them, my guy. I said, can you go get it from the market? He's like, Are you, give it from you, na? give it from your room, up your medicine box. I said, my medicine box, why will it have, you know, a sleeping pill? 
He says, what do you mean? You don't take a sleeping pill and sleep? I said, is that become a need? Like, is that supposed to be her? He says, everybody sleeps with that only. I said, no, I can sleep in any time. I don't need these medicines. I mean, this is news to my life. And I laughed. I said, seriously? I said, okay, I don't want to understand these people's life. Pock and pot and send it back to them. I said, I'm very happy. I'm a very joyful person. So anybody here who cannot sleep, let me know. <laughs> let me kick your ass. <laughs> I'm very restless today. Jagnur, come. Can you come online right now? Come here. Show me your face. <laughs> show me who. Yes. Hi. Are you restless? Is your body restless? Your mind restless? What is restless? I have that feeling uh, where it's like just before the exam, you know, butterflies in the stomach and something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. My body is making me aware of something. Then there's a situation going on mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. um, is there a fight going on in your house? Is there something breaking in your house? Is somebody dying in your house? What's happening? Not dying. Uh, uh, it is just before the fight. Ah, the fight. Can like, you to allow yourself to let your family members fight? Right now, can you in your world go and give that permission to them to fight? How much of the fight are you creating by this? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I was this energy, huh? Always like, I'm like, don't scream. Don't be on a high pitch. And I'm like, okay, quiet, quiet, quiet. I'll do anything. I would do, end up doing for anything for anybody if even a little voice went up. Because my mom, when we were growing up, really used to scream. That was her tool. She used to control all of us. So I started getting controlled by that. So, and I started watching over the period of time, any kind of a serious, intense conversation, I end up fight. And I would like, oh my God. And then I'm like, okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then I started observing. I said, oh, nice way of getting me controlled. So one day I was like, okay fight let them fight and i started doing my entity career i'm standing as such let everybody when they have such a grown-up people in the house they're not little babies that i should stop the fight so these are young adults who are much older than me if they are not interested and they are okay fighting among who the hell am i to stop them i allowed i said okay go fight in my head two minutes darling two minutes less than two minutes i do not know where all went Everybody was fine and walking here and there. I'm like, wow, how much was I creating these fights until I became an allowance of their fight? I'm a bit relaxed. My body suddenly just went like this. So <laughs> it's like you just observe. What if you can have fun? Ah, oh, okay. Can I give you a stick? Can I give you do this? And I'm like, have fun. And team comes on you then. How do you take that or? Okay. Yeah, you're correct. You, what if you tell them you're correct? Mm -hmm. Me, bichari. I'm, I'm creating <laughs> all these things. Uh, I'm creating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I was fighting. You're correct. Well, how much money can you receive by being blamed? I usually do this when no. I'm, uh, you know, I create money and I have created lots and lots by. Oh, um, oh, is it that you've got extra money? Shivangi, can you SMS on my account number? Can I? Can you send that money to me? Because you are scared to take extra money. I'm happy to take your money. <laughs> I, I, I'm uh, saving to join one of your classes. So yes, you'll get, eventually you'll get. For my classes, you don't have to save. You have to just choose. Money will come. So don't make my me as a reason. Huh? Just transfer the money. <laughs> How relaxed are you already? It is for you that she's saving. Do you see? <laughs> yeah, for me, not for her okay, at okay. all. That's why I said don't save for my classes. My classes are very easy peasy. You have to just choose them. So it's so simple, right? How we make that anxiety go bigger than us. That is what I'm saying. Can you today not start renouncing and denouncing what your desires are? Just go learn, 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 learn. Their choice, their body dying, they're choosing it. Why are you responsible for saving them? Even to a child, I used to do that to my dog. My dog. And the truth is that even if you want to, you really can't. can't. It is their choice eventually. Yeah. 
you the wanting kid, to save them is also a I, I, the yeah. superiority in you that I can save you. I'm the the person in the family who everybody listens and really honors and cares for. Bullshit. They're just controlling you and using them for their fun. And then few years down, like like the Indian Bollywood movies, you'll be like, oh shit. Sari Zindagi mein karti rahi. Kishi ne nahi dekha. And then you will wake up. I'm waking you up now. <laughs> and Adna, apni ka ani suna rahi. You said that, let them die. You said that, let them die. If somebody's dying, let them die. How do you deal yeah. with that loss? Is it okay? It's like no. their choice. Everybody has a word choice. If they want to go, you can support them. You can gift them. You can flow them, whatever they desire. And that's what I was about to give you an example. My dog um, used to have a lot of these attacks. And, you know, they took him to a doctor initially first time, two, three times. But then we saw that as a very perpetual thing. And now what happened then once I was with him around him and I put my hand and I actually started thanking him. I said, darling, you can go. I'm giving you a thank you for your contribution. I was, I'm really grateful to you that you were here and you've done your bit. If you choose to go, you're most welcome to go. And I'll always be grateful to you. Two seconds, it was up. After that, whenever it has happened, I'm like, don't do this drama, I'm here. You know, everybody was like, Bhabi ji, you do puja, what do you do soon? What do you do? I don't do any puja. It's just that I talk to him. So if a dog can come and knows that nobody is bothered about my death and I'd rather live, you can also be allowance of their death. And I'd rather live, you can also be allowance of their death. They might probably choose to stay back. And if they have to go, please be in the allowance of their choice. You're not bothered about their death. You're bothered about what will happen to you. Again, just like my classes, I say, what will happen to you? How selfish we are. Like. Uh, but we won't like to be seen like that, right? So our relaxation, only we take it away. Yeah. Thank you. I'm much more uh, relaxed when I just started speaking. Yes. Exam Just over. A deep breath. <laughs> Exam over. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Hope that was contributive. I will I'll just make uh, Shivangi. Can you just let them know about the details which we wanted to comment then, and then I'll make you do a small exercise before you leave, and then we can say a good night. Yeah, I've shared the document uh, in the group WhatsApp group. Let's relax WhatsApp group, so you can go through all the details. Um, Overall, the like some of the basic things that that are to look at is the dates that is first, second, third, and fourth of December. Van Ghat Lodge is the place we are going to, um, and it is a beautiful venue. We have been there personally, and we have experienced it. Aradna has experienced it twice actually, so we know what the venue can offer, and therefore we have chosen it. It is in Jim Corbett. Uh, Dima Range is the specific area where it is. Uh, if you are traveling from Delhi, it will be amazing. We can all travel together. If you're not traveling from Delhi and if you're coming from somewhere else, you can personally reach out to me and I can tell you how to reach there. Uh, this, uh, But there's an adventure if you can tell them that. Yeah, walk. this retreat uh, is is about relaxation which involves a lot of adventure so we would be trekking a bit i mean in order to reach the venue itself you have to trek for about 1.8 kilometers uh and all of us i mean like when we went we had to trek for longer but we could Three do kilometers. it yeah, yeah we, we could do it um at our own pace and it was a lot of fun like so what we are actually doing is we are getting inside the jungle and living there and it's the infrastructure <laughs> and the infrastructure of that place is such that it looks like it is part of the jungle itself and it is there also so that we are able to spot the wildlife very closely and so it may so happen that you are able to spot a lot of wildlife ar around you very very closely um, but we have a have trained staff there so they'll take care of us uh, and yes, it involves a whole range of things. Like Aradna said, largely it is without form and structure, but we have an idea of what all we would like to sort of contribute uh, and what all we would like to create through this retreat. Uh, so all of that list is there in the document. We will be doing blessing circles. We will also be kind of learning how to 
facilitate blessing circles. We'll be doing some jewelry making, some woodwork, bird watching. It is a brilliant bird watching site. We'll have symphony of possibilities sessions by our artists. Have your life book. Yeah, and one of the most interesting takeaway from this retreat is that when you will leave that place, uh, you will have with you a a life book of you. So we will be creating a life book. For each one of us, everybody of us will prepare our own books, and uh, you'll be able to take that away with you. And then, of course, you can continue to write into it and wonder where this life book of each one of us goes. Like, I mean, I mean, let's see what is really possible. We really wanted to do this uh, because it, it, it is the relaxation is also about getting present with every aspect of your life. So that you can even relax further because you're far more clearer. Um, so yeah, I mean, if any of you is interested, if any of you is getting those, you know, like cute feeling within you right now, uh, please reach out to me. Please reach out to me. Reach out to Aradna, whoever you choose to reach out to. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you have specific questions about accommodation and uh, X, Y, and Z, and you know whether you can get your pets, whether you can get your kids. If you have any questions like that, please reach out to us. Awesome, thank you, Shivangi. But I'm very excited, so I wonder what else is possible. So just in that invitation, extending it to you. Now, just let's all relax, and yeah, and also we have a body whispering session. If I do not know if everybody knows it, that was like kind of had to be a pure gift. But then it wanted to have some price on it. It's just 1100 bucks, which is on the 22nd. So anybody choosing it, please let us know. Cool. So let's just now take a deep breath wherever you are. Take You want to jump, you want to walk, you want to be relaxing, whatever it is. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Breathe in again. And breathe out all the feelings, all the emotions. Allow them today, whatever you have been stopping yourself to, breathe them in right now. Take pure gratitude. Just breathe, breathe in. Have a smile towards them. Have a gratitude towards all your judgments today. You've acknowledged them. Now breathe them out. Again. Take a deep breath, relax, and breathe out. Acknowledge every cell of your body, million, billions of cells of your body, and breathe in and relax. Acknowledge the air in you, the elements in you, and the elements outside. Acknowledge the shape and structure of your body and keep relaxing with it. And relax more. Let everything fall. Let everything fall today. Whatever you think you've been holding, anything that has been stopping you, anything that has been your reason to stop you to, until today. Breathe it in first, breathe in and now breathe that out. If you want you to touch your bodies, you can touch your bodies on your thymus area, on your stomach area and just sense this breathing in and give a smile to yourself, to your body, to all the cells. And now expand in the space, relaxing it more deeper and deeper and deeper. Anything that is going on in your body, any information that you're not able to decode, just witness it right now. Acknowledge it. And breathe in. Give a smile to it. And now talk to those molecules. Give the message to the, those molecules to melt that hardness. That any way you were not willing to receive that information, just receive with total gratitude. No fight. 
drop the fight. Include everybody into your life today, including your judgments, including your desires, any kind of a sexual desire, material desire, relationship desires, health desires, financial desires, everything that you made wrong. Today, receive them. Anything about you, your nature, your body, anything that you made wrong, flow your gratitude to it. Allow yourself to be that and asking that. Every way you have abused and butchered yourself, relax. Acknowledge it and let it flow out from your body with total gratitude, relaxation and a smile. Smile to yourself today. And as you keep breathing in, keep relaxing. And as you breathe out, keep relaxing. Now, go to a moment of your life which totally energizes you with this relaxation, which takes you to another step of relaxation, more deeper. Acknowledge it. Thank it. Give a smile to it. And now, pull this energy and whatever you want to create in future, do not have to give shape structure, just energetically place it there. And now ask it to contribute in your present now and have it now as you are already in that future. And give yourself a smile. Allow yourself to trust you today. Trust, trust what you've asked is actually correct. All your choices are making sense. Everything is in progress. You are in progress. You are doing well. You are safe. You are protected. And you are a blessing. And whenever you are ready, thanking body, thanking earth, thanking all the miracle, magical beings, and the energy of relaxation and smile, let's be here. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Thank you and thank you for your time, your space, and what else is possible. So come choose. Let's have more fun. 24 by 7 with each of us. Four days. What fun can we have? What riot can we have? What all can we actually receive from the nature there and the animals? So, yes, I welcome you aboard. What else will it take for you to choose? And don't do things for me, guys. Do it for you. Okay, thank you. Hope that contributes. Keep choosing and see you at 11 11 tomorrow. Thank you so much, Aradhana. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, everybody, thank you. for joining in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very